Hey little guy. What we got here? Oh, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, got a little drinky for you. You want a drinky? Drink, drinky. Oh, here I got, I got a little treat for you. You look starved. Here, here you go. Take some. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna hurt you. You do talk! Well, my name's Alex, and I host a little television show I think you'd be perfect for. It. Home, little buddy. <laughs> there you go. Already getting used to it. Makes sense. I broke it in for you. Jacket. Oh, you want you want my jacket? Jack. That's a great name. I think I'm gonna go with that. Jack. Jack. I got three new jokes. I got Kendall on the phone. Kendall on the phone. I got a joke. I got a joke. <sighs> Disgusting dribble. Try again. Good morning, sleepyhead. I don't pay you to sleep in. You better have been dreaming up jokes. Come on, get the hell out. Good morning, you pathetic sacks of shit! Good, Good morning, morning, sir! Do we all have a funny night last night? I didn't see anyone's hand in a bowl of water. What about you? What'd you dream about, boy? I, I dreamt about being an orphan. Not funny! What about you? Uh, I dreamt I was at school in my underwear. Unoriginal! Next! Uh, I dreamt about my grandma uh, sitting on a whoopee cushion. Lies! All lies! You better come up with an original joke on a count of three! One, two! <coughs> All right, everyone, this is Jack. He's our new writer. He's fresh meat. <gasps> I was just about to show him the control room. We'll show him where all the magic happens. You know, the one none of you have access to. <laughs> you actually all make me sick. You think you're funny? I've had bowel movements funnier than you. They're actually fucking hilarious. You, with me. By the time I get back, I want five new I think you should leave S comedy sketches written. That fucker Tim Robinson doesn't own all sketch comedy. Guys, coach is right. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. You know, you're a pretty lucky guy to be working on my show. Not many people get that chance. But I saw something in you yesterday. Something that made me think. Maybe this guy has what we need. You see, kid, viewership's been way down. Engagement almost non-existent, death threats in the mail, it all sort of adds up. But that's where you come in. Welcome, kid. To the deep end. State-of-the-art equipment. Yep. Spare no expense on this bad boy. This buzz? That's another thing we gotta work on. Come on. I'm gonna show you what it means to be a human.
I'm so happy we got renewed for season 17. <laughs> no, silly Billy. This is our first season together. Oops, so we still learning numbers. <laughs> Looks like we still need to teach you a thing or two. Two? Well, it's time for our classic comedy series. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back the Meat Boys! What's that, boss? Wait, what? I thought this was a journalist show. Well, you know, we've kind of devolved into more of an absurdist sketch comedy show. We don't really do interviews anymore. Oh, okay. Well, hey, what's the description of the show again? Well, we at the deep end cover the most unique and interesting places and organizations in Bloomington and... and... God, you're right. We've become... Meat Boys, get the hell out! You're tossing us in the deep fryer? We've got beef now. <laughs> Get out! Leave! I don't want to see you anymore! Meat boys, get out! <laughs> Jack, you're right. We gotta get back into doing what we love. Conducting zany interviews with the residents of this crazy town. Yes, Alex. But, but how? How do we do it again? It's been so long since I've actually conducted an interview. You've got to help me. Well, let's just go out and talk to people. I'm still learning human interaction, you know. That's it. That could be the theme for today's episode. Teaching you how to be a functioning member of society. Yeah, and it seems like you got a thing or two for food-based humor. What about we cover the farmer's market? It's a great idea. I can't believe it's only your first episode. It's almost like, like you're teaching me a little something. <laughs> <laughs> let's dive in. That, oh my god, that's genius. Why didn't I think of that? 17 seasons? I never thought of to say that. Can I, can I do it next time? No. Now this is going to be Jack's first interview. I'm a little nervous since, you know, you know, it's my first interview in a long time, but I wanted to come to a place where I think most are welcome, a place where maybe everyone is welcome, or maybe even perhaps a place where all are welcome. Uh, so, uh, welcome to Bloomington Farmer's Market. Go. I found Jack and we're here at the farmer's market. We're all welcome. Very excited to do our first interview together after 46 some seasons. It's been about 12 since I've done an interview. Excited for an entire community of free food. Yeah, I think these, this is what you probably would have eaten in the woods, right? You, you had fruit out there, right? No. What did you eat? Various foragings and green papers. Green papers? Well, that's kind of similar. Balsa wood. Also one? You know, various droppings I would find. There's a lot of nutrients in droppings. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, but no, these are these are, uh, these are apples. These are apples, kids. How do you say it again? A apple. You're telling me these are apples, too. Close. Very close. I, it, 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 I get confused sometimes with this. These are potatoes. They look like dirty apples. No, yeah, see, I'm sure you're used to the apples when they get on the ground. They get kind of dirty, they get kind of brown, but no, no, no. These well, are again, like, I'm not used to any apples. What's your last name? Haley. Haley, see, Irish. Irish. Ah. Your ancestors basically lived on of these. Mushy apples? Mushy guy. Oh, Alex. Hey, Alex. What does this look like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? What, what were you talking about? I don't know. I thought you knew. Oh. No, I didn't know. What does it mean by chicken of the woods? That is a t the name of the mushroom. Oh, oh it's a mushroom. It's a wild mushroom. Grows on dead, dead wood, dead limbs, dead bones. Dead animals? Well, no, it don't grow on animals. Uh, mushrooms don't grow on animals. Uh, well, maybe the chicken. I, no, I, I was thinking No, chicken. it's called, they call it chicken of the woods because it's kind of got a texture. Gotcha. A oh. texture of chicken when you cook it. Vegetarians will use it as a chicken substitute. Oh, that's oh. smart. I use it a lot of times. I just cook kind of saute mine up using the eggs and stuff like that. How long have you been coming up to the farmer's market? Since 1986. Wow, it's been going around for that long? Longer than that. It's been going since oh, 70. It's been going since 77. What changes have you noticed the most here at the Bloomington Farmers Market? But in you know, it's always been kind of like the community center where you know we the, the, uh, the run for cancer and you know, other other organizations would have a big to do here on a Saturday morning. The market started out on the like square okay. and then it moved to the lot by the library and that's kind of where we started out and then it moved here when City Hall moved here in 
early 2000s and kind of grew each time. And just between you and me, who's the biggest competition? Mm. The only other certified organic is right there, but Mike, like, he has a lot of stuff to him to sell, so like, you know, there's plenty of space that I wouldn't exactly call, like, we work with him. It's all collaboration. Um, Living Roots is not actually organic, but kind of pretends to be organic. So. And they say organic on their sign, too. Wow. But they're not certified organic. Gotcha. Ooh. So, you know, that's probably, like, I guess what I would say. Gotcha. Don't be late. Come on down to the farmer's market. It's going to be great. Saturdays from 9 to 12. It's where I met. It's where I dwell. Farmer's market, Bloomington. We got pie. We got treats. Bloomington, farmer's market. We got vegetables and sweets. So what is this sample? That is maple syrup. The purest Just, food in the world. Oh yeah. All it has right. in it is maple sap that's been boiled down about 40 to 1. Okay. Let's give it our taste. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> that's delicious. That's really good. Thank you. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> Where Indiana's finest. This is where we started in 1958. Wow. In there? My great uncle's place. He called it the hideous hideout. Gosh. What made it hideous? Yeah. Oh, several things. Oh, <laughs> you don't want me to go into any detail. Not the maple syrup. Kind of do. Let's start right. with the fact that, for well, good reason, he had the boards about an inch and a half apart. The boards? Yeah, the boards in the wall. Oh. That means oh, yeah. that if you're 11 years old and you're sleeping outside of a warm house for the first time in your life, it was a cold Sunday day. <laughs> I mean, cold, colder than you've ever been, especially if you weren't knowledgeable about how to take the right kind of things to stay warm. We made really bad syrup, but we had fun doing it. Yeah, yeah. No, so well then we did it on and off for about 40 years, and then we got serious about it again in another place not too far away. Gotcha. <clears throat> and uh, we've been there about well over 40 years now. Awesome. What the hell is that? I feel like I had a dream about that one night. Wow, that was great. Our first interview together and it went super. Yeah, and I only peed my pants twice. Hey kid, we've all been there. My first time, I did three. Oh, but let me tell you, that was exhausting. My dogs are barking for some air. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Let's do it again. The hell are you talking about? We're all done. We did our job. Let's just have the cronies do some stupid skit and have the nerds edit it. No, come on, man. This is great stuff. Let's go back to the farmer's market again. What? Are you crazy, kid? We just did that. Why don't we at least do another interview? Another one? Jesus, kid, you're really trying to kill me here. Oh, screw it. You got some spunk in you, kid. Well, not the farmer's market. Who should we talk to? Well, we did it your way. Now let's try it mine. Man, for a guy who I found on the street just a day ago, you're really taking control of my life fast. So meditation or mindfulness is just a science of the mind, meaning that we learn about how our, our mind works mm -hmm. by directly observe, uh, observing, it, uh, observing it. Meditation is observation. Obs observing what? Observing the mind. So that, that's meditation. Now, there's different way to, obs to start observing the mind, right? Mm -hmm. Because our mind... Um, uh, meditators are usually called monkey mice because we jumping around uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> um, among branches all the time. You have to have some anchor usually. Right? So uh, usually the breath is the most convenient thing mm -hmm. available anyway. So you focus on your on your on your breath or when you when you meditate. Um, but then. You don't have to do it right, right, right now when we are talking. 
um, I'm trying to observe my mind, what thought, what emotion I have uh, when I talk with people or when I listen to people, that's meditation. So there's a form of meditation that uh, if you want to practice, you want to sit down every day for about 10 minutes, uh, sit down um, and observe your breath or your body uh, for 10 minutes and you feel relaxed, you feel happy and that happiness and calmness you carry on in other activities in the day. But more importantly, you, co you carry the awareness, the observation, mm -hmm. right? So uh, in a class, I observe um, my students, I obs you know, right now I'm observing you, I'm observing my mind. I'm actually not observing you, I'm observing how I perceive you, right? Mm. So in reality, I never experience you directly. Mm. What I'm experiencing is I'm experiencing my perception of you. So, so what I'm experiencing is a mental process in my mind. Mm. Um, and then all my, uh, rea my mental reaction to that. So I'm learning about my mind during the day. So, so what I'm saying is it's usually we sit down at certain time, uh, usually for me in the morning, get calm, get clear, and then carry that clarity and observation through all the activities during the day. I hope perceived is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I received you a school joke. Don't uh, worry. Yeah. I definitely noticed it when I was doing the meditative uh, earlier, um, how I wasn't focused on like my phone at all through those 20 minutes. But the second we turned it back around, that was the first that I had was, oh, who texted me? What <laughs> notifications do I have? So I think it's just like a understanding of how worrisome my life is, just mm -hmm. behind the scenes that I just didn't notice before. So that was really cool to observe. Yeah. When I first meditated, Sitting down for two minutes is difficult, right? Mm -hmm. um, but as you sit or try to sit consistently, gradually you get into a state of calm. Right? Mm -hmm. So brain activity seem to slow down. You leave, seem to live deeper at the moment. There's a lot. There's a less. Uh, tendency to jump around thinking about text messages or, or you know, what I need to do next. Uh, mm -hmm. And once you get into that state of um, the mind, you don't really need to try to sit. You want to sit. Mm -hmm. Life is so chaotic, so stressful, but suddenly you have a pull, you have a, a space of calmness, and you want to be there. Uh, the meditation that we do in the Soto Zen tradition, so that's a Japanese style of Buddhism, uh, and we call it Zazen, uh, which just means sitting meditation. And we call it Shikantaza, which literally just means just sitting. Um, so, yeah. But we, and as we were going through how to do it, we talked about this hand position, um, which is called the Cosmic Nudra. It's a grandiose name. Um, and uh, the Zen tradition, um, in essence, is sort of um, about taking our normal view of things, which is treating you know, you all as separate from me, for example, uh, and all the like, stuff in this room as like, being over there, and I'm here, and I'm in my own little separate bubble, uh, and taking all these things and sort of integrating them, and seeing, seeing you as part of me, seeing this, this room as part of me, so really being one with it. So symbolically, we're taking two separate things and fusing them together in one uh, in this thing. And I also explained that Beyond that, um, it just has sort of a practical function, so sometimes if we're uh, really caught up in an unpleasant thought, we might start jamming our thumbs together and we can sort of start to feel that pain. It's a reminder to come back to our focus on, on just being here now. And likewise, if we get sleepy, they might separate and we lose the other finger. And it's a reminder that we need to sort of wake ourselves up a little bit. So. We want to create a community where people want to support each other in this wonderful practice. Mm -hmm. If there's a community, um, you know, who share uh, their experience um, uh, with me, I become more inspired. Um, so that's the purpose of this club, right? 
Um, so um, we are planning to meet every week. Each time that one member would provide guided meditation for the rest of the group. Um, and we try different focus, different met methods and different techniques uh, so people get um, um, a variety of tools. Um, so we meditate for about mm, half of the time, which is about half an hour. And then we use the rest uh, of time to discuss, sharing experience, asking questions. Sometimes we don't have answers uh, to all the questions, um, but having no answer is a good thing. Mm -hmm. It keeps your mind curious. So uh, if you go to beinvolved.indiana.edu um, uh, mm -hmm. and search meditation, uh, and our club will come up, mindfulness uh, meditation at IU, mm -hmm. and you can just click sign up, and we always welcome uh, any student who's interested in this. Well, should we wrap this episode up, buddy? Let's do it. What in the heyday is this malarkey? We've had enough. We decided to unionize. And by unionize, I mean we decided to band together to kill you. What did I do? You destroyed our crops. You, you burned our irrigation canal. We won't have a bountiful harvest this year. And you gave us the plague. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, guess I did do that. Well, what are you going to do? You can't take back the plague. Go and give it. Sick of <laughs> Wait! Now, hold on, guys. I know Alex has mistreated you in the past. I know he's done some bad things. I know he makes you sleep on cardboard boxes in the writer's room. No, that's just you. Oh. Well, that other stuff. He's a changed man, guys. Today we went out, we did two interviews. <gasps> you mean, no absurdist sketches? Like, Will it Play-Doh, where Alex makes us all eat Play-Doh and it's not even on camera? Well, maybe we'll keep that one. I mean, I'd personally like to see it. But all that other stuff, he's different. Alex? Is this true? It is. At the farmer's market earlier, I asked them to get you guys some seeds, you know, to help regrow your civilization. I even asked if they can make the seeds little heart shapes, but they said that's impossible, genetically speaking. But still, it's the thought that counts. Bring it here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. What's up, everyone? Yeah. Wow. Deep in season two premiere. I can't believe it. I can't believe we did it. We learned a lot. Went to the farmer's market. Mindfulness. That was insane. I was like, my mom. I was like, thank all my friends, my family, Jack. Everyone who wanted to for Jack. I mean, come on. Hey, come on. First episode, I didn't do half bad. Did I? <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. We'll need to get better next time. <laughs> uh, who knows what's happening next time? You gotta tune in. IUS TV YouTube channel. Yep, yep, yep. I would like more vodka, though. Ladies and gentlemen, the Meat Boys. Hey, and uh, nice to meet ya. Welcome back to the Meat Boys. Today we are going to be unboxing these ramen noodle packets. Uh, we haven't quite had these before, have we? No, but are you chicken? anymore.